Hi. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Have a seat. Good to see you. Well, you know, it's a special day here. Uh, I've been watching the show, I've been Steve. Watching the show. Okay. Good try. Where's that insult me? Uh... <laughs> Wait a second. I haven't checked lately. What do we have here? Not there yet. Uh huh. How, you do how old are you? I'm 15. I'll be 16 in July. Oh, you really have had uh, a lot of careers so far. How, were you, how young were you when you started? I started at seven. What's, what was the first thing you remember? Very first job I did was a uh, Jello Pudding Pops commercial. Uh, I played opposite my mother. You're kidding. Um, she used to be an actress uh, with Bill Cosby. Went to location on my first commercial. It was great. Well, you remember what you said? Um, uh uh. I, I laughed a lot, and they no, they were there for the, for the butterscotch flavor that never came out, and uh, <laughs> and uh, it was great. They never aired the commercial. It was uh -huh. terrific. Um, but uh, I remember I laughed a lot, and I and I got them stuck on my tongue and. Did, did you uh, always know that you would be an actor no matter what? No. Um, it was kind of a, uh, an overnight thing. I, was, I tagged along with my mom um, to her agents, and I just I wandered off to the commercial agents and said, uh, hi, and she said, you have a really good commercial face. Do you want to do commercials? And I said, uh, not really. And she said, well, come back when you're ready. And I came back in a week, and I was ready. And it just sort of happened. And as I got into it more and more, I decided this is really what I want to do. You got more and more experience. In Stand By Me, you were so terrific. You really were. There was such an honesty about you. I thought either you were never, ever an actor or an absolutely excellent one. Thanks. So I've now, I've now gotten the answer. He's an yeah. absolutely excellent well, one. Well, because of the butterscotch that never came out. You remember <laughs> that one? No, uh, well, the young Houdini proved that, too. You, you played the, the, the Richard Dreyfus played you as an adult, and you were Richard Dreyfus as a kid, or however you would say that. Uh, were you as surprised as other people by the huge success of that movie? Um, the critical acclaim I was really blown away by. I thought it was going to be a good film. Um, after reading the screenplay, and uh, seeing, you know, Rob Reiner, I think, is an excellent director and an incredible human being. And I just thought with everything that came together, I thought it would do okay, but I had no idea that it was going to do what it did. Mm -hmm. That was a film about the younger generation. How do you feel about that film as opposed to maybe some of the other films that are being done now about young people? I think what I really liked about Stand By Me was it presented young people in the light that I'd like to see them presented. You know, it, it, it wasn't afraid to show, you know, the kind of racy bathroom humor side of, of boys. I mean, that's what we, you, we did that when you were. Oh, when I didn't, but a lot of When you were my age. Oh, yeah, come on. Right. You know, and I, I remember I did that. You know, I, sure. I, I made the jokes and the stuff that, 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 that we did in that. You know, and then I go out and, and you see the, the, the other teen movies. And I just, I think that, that Stand By Me presented in a more realistic light. Mm -hmm. And, uh. I just thought it also. I think it hit home for some adults more than say a you know like a a, a Porky's movie would or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that cycle seems to be over. And I don't know if it's Stand by Me that perhaps was partially responsible for it, but it's a sensitive movie. It it, it is it is a racy movie, but it's a it's an honestly racy movie. Now the other the other. Uh, I keep eating these cookies, I'm sorry. The other thing is, uh, Star Trek, it goes on, you had to think long and hard, I imagine, because doing a new Star Trek television series at first had to be a scary proposition, knowing how devoted everybody is to the old one. Yeah, um, it, was, it was a little nerve-wracking to, uh, to, to go out and, and, and think, okay, now there are about 30 million people across the country that, that have been like loyal followers that, that worship the original cast, and you know, you're like coming in and you're gonna like you know, have to be accepted, and uh, yeah, I was very nervous. I was very nervous, but uh, I, I had confidence in Gene and in the writers and the directing and the other cast members. So I, I we still have a few people that uh, don't want to accept us, but so far we've been very yeah, lucky. You can't win over everybody, but I understand that the the show is very very successful. Uh, in terms of ratings and the markets carrying it all that, so we congratulate you on that. And the final question is, when are you getting married? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> After I can drive. An honest answer. That's a good one. <laughs> After I can drive. That's very good. Well, Wheaton, thank you very much for being thank with you. us. Thank it's good you. to see you. Thank you. We will be right back. Stay tuned.